Hello, this is Professor TK the Chemist and we're back with another video. This time we're gonna talk about significant digits but when it comes to rounding. So here's the thing, you have to remember a couple of rules in order to successfully round off your digits according to significant digit values. So if the number that you're rounding is less than five, you round down by removing the rest of the numbers after the first significant digit, and then you fill it in with zeros. On the other hand, if it is five or more, then you round up by adding one of the first digits and removing the rest. So let me go ahead and explain to you what I mean by that. Let's get into it. In this first example here, you're going to round these numbers to one significant digit. So what that means is you put a dot above the first digit, okay, since they said they want you to round to one significant digit, and then you look to the right of that number, and that's going to tell you what to do. That six tells that eight to round up, so that eight becomes a nine, and the six turns into a zero. In other words, you have to fill in that space with a zero. You just don't say the number is nine. You have to go up based on the place values. So if you have two numbers, three numbers, four numbers, those other extra numbers that you did not have to do anything to have to be filled in with zeros. Such as this next example. You have 71. Round off to one significant digit, put a dot above the seven and look to the right of that. That one tells that seven to stay put. Therefore, that seven becomes seven and that one becomes a zero, and you still have one significant digit. 55, a dot above the first five. Look to the right of that, that five tells that first five to go up to a six. So I'm gonna fill in the next digit with a zero. Now what happens when we get to three numbers? And we have to still keep in mind the significant digits rule, which says to round off to one significant digit. Well, I'm gonna put a dot above the three, and look to the right of that. That two tells that three to stay put. So I'm gonna replace the two with a zero and the eight will also get replaced with another zero. So 328 becomes 300 and that's only one significant digit. 693, I've got to put a dot above the six or a bar, whatever you want to denote that that's your first significant digit. The nine tells that six to go up to a seven, and you're gonna fill in the other two digits with zeros. I'm going to pause the screen and let you do the other examples. Now, let's take a look at these that incorporate decimal places where there's a 0 0.0038, such as the one in number 12. So in this particular case, when we have 0. 0038, our first significant digit here is the three. The eight tells the three to go up to a four. So in this case, you're gonna still keep the zeros here, but that three goes into a four, so you end up with 0 0.004. Do not add the other zero, because if you do, that's going to give you two significant digits. I know sometimes this rules, these rules can be confusing, but you just have to keep in mind the number of digits that you need and either round up or round down, but keep the numbers accordingly. So for instance, if we look at the next, next example, 0 0.00078, well, my first significant digit is the six. The eight tells that six to go up. So we're gonna make that become 0. 0, 0, 0, 0007. The eight goes off and we leave the number as is. 0. 0.0007. This last example, 0. 0.072. We're going to do the same thing. Our first significant digit is the seven. So the two tells the seven to stay put, but you still have to incorporate the other zeros that come before it. And that goes to 0. 0.07. I'm gonna do one more example, such as number 10, because I'm sure this is gonna give you all some questions to think about. 
So you've got 11.70, and we only want one significant digit. Well, my first significant digit is the one right here. So guess what? That one to the right of that one tells the one to stay put. So this becomes 10, and that's it. It just becomes 10. If you put a decimal at the very end like this, then that gives you two significant digits. You've got to leave the decimal off in order to still keep in mind the rule that they're telling you to do in terms of having one significant digit. In the upcoming video, we're going to do another example where they're telling you to do two significant figures. Is that simple to do? Yes, it is. Stay tuned.